Let's quantify the brute force attack effort against Mac. Let's, support, let's suppose that the key size is k bits, and the Mac authenticator or tag is n bits. The brute force attacker in this case can try to attack the key or the Mac. If attacking the authentication key, that is to learn the value of the key, there can be multiple keys that provide the same match given a pair of message and a tag, because the Mac is based on compression. Finding one key that produces the same message tag pair will require a computational effort in the order of 2 to the kth power, actually 2 raised to the power of k minus 1 on average. Because of the many to one mapping of Mac, the attacker proceeds to find keys with a different known pair of message and attack. The attacker then compares the key solutions across different known pair of message and attack and finds the key that solves the different pairs. The probability that such key match across distinct message tag pairs is a false alarm decreases exponentially with the number of message tag pairs that the attacker tries. This attacker effort grows in O of 2 to the kth power. On the other hand, the attacker can also attack the MAC to find a collision so that the attacker can forge the MAC tag. Such effort is the same as finding hash collision and on average requires 2 to the n minus first power, or 2 raised to the n minus 1. And the attacker effort grows in O of 2 to the nth power. Given these two threat vectors, the attacker will choose either the key or the MAC and choose the one that has lower entropy and therefore computationally easier to attack. Therefore, the attacker effort becomes the minimum between the two threats, that is, it is the minimum between 2 to the kth power and 2 to the nth power. It is recommended that the minimum between k and n lengths, which corresponds to the attacker effort, is at least 128 bits. This is in contrast to cryptographic hash function, where 128 bits was considered too weak nowadays. Comparing Mac and hash, a brute force attack on a Mac takes greater computational effort than a brute force attack on a hash function because it requires known message attack pairs. The strength of a hash function against brute force attack depends solely on the length of the hash code produced by the algorithm with a, with a cost of O of two, to the, 2 raised to the power of half of n by birthday paradox and the attack on strong collision resistance. On the other hand, a brute force attack on a Mac has a cost related to the minimum of 2 to the kth power or 2 to the n 2 to the nth power, similar to symmetric encryption algorithms.